Hey guys, welcome back to another 5 Minute Design. Today, we're going to be doing some packaging design for a peanut bar. So let's get started. This is the packaging for the bar, and the first thing we need is a name for the company and a logo design. The main ingredient in this bar is peanuts, so I think a fitting name is just peanut. So we definitely need to spice this up some, and we can start by finding a different font. We're going to be using this logo across different bars, so I'd like something really simple, maybe geometric, and fairly bold. That way it stands out on small packaging. Now I really like this font. It's nice and bold, it's got a good weight, and it's fairly interesting even before we edit it. And you know, this N and U kind of look like two different halves of a peanut. Writing this logo out vertically, you can see exactly what I'm talking about. We've got that nice peanut shape hidden in there, and since the bar is fairly long, we could even place the logo vertically on the bar instead of horizontally. Let's go ahead and adjust this part some just to make it look a little bit more like a peanut. I'm gonna outline the fonts, and let's just take these corners and drag them in some. And the same thing down here. It's definitely starting to get that peanut shape to it. I feel like we have a lot of sharp corners here, and I'd like this brand to feel a little bit more organic, so I think rounding off some of these would help. I'm gonna give this some more personality. It's a little stiff right now, so we're just gonna kind of bend some of these edges and create some shapes that aren't so straight. And for the P, I think we just need to close this gap. And on the end and the U, we've got these areas where it goes from thick to thin, so I'm gonna add that to the T as well. I'm gonna give the P the same rounded tip the T has. And so all these three letters have this nice arch to them, so I'm gonna mimic that on the edge of the T. I feel like that strengthens the T, and almost makes it feel like a base for the rest of these letters. And I didn't wanna give these flat edges a curve like we did on the P and T, because I want them to almost be treated as one unit. And these flat lines will help to almost combine them. Now we can put that into our horizontal version. And now that can be used for any time we need to use that logo in a horizontal position. So now we'll head back into Photoshop, rotate our image, and place our logo. There's gonna be multiple bars, each with its own variety of ingredients, but the base will always be peanuts. So I'd like to find a way to tie these packages together visually, that way no matter which type of bar you're looking at, you'll always recognize the brand right off the bat. And I think we can do that with the package's color. So instead of giving each package a different color, let's make them all have a base black color. Now for our logo, it obviously needs to be a lighter color. We could make it pure white, but I think if we made it a slight tan instead, that could be a little more interesting, and it could help our nut here look more like a peanut. Oftentimes these bars can be pretty small in the store, so I really want this branding to stick out. And a good way to do that is to just make it larger. There we go. Each of these bars has a peanut base, but they have one or two extra ingredients that makes them different from each other. And for this particular bar, that other ingredient is going to be honey. And when it comes to food packaging, a lot of times the best thing to do is just show an image of that ingredient. And we don't want to just slap a jar of honey on here, so it'd be nice to try to work that honey into our brand somehow. So I got this image of some honey drizzle. I thought we might be able to find a way to place that on the package and maybe even intertwine it into the words. We want to position it to where all of the drizzle is on the packaging and align up with our logo. So I think it'd be really cool to intertwine our honey and logo. So basically the honey will just run through the letters. And I'm going to do that by pushing our honey back on the top layer, give that a mask, then we'll select the area inside of our logo. And now, where we don't want honey on top of the letters, we can just paint that away. I just want to adjust the honey color and add some reds to it. Now that looks a lot more rich and has some contrast. Now I think this honey needs to cast some shadows onto our letters. We've got this really nice visual of the honey, and that'd be good to get some type of visual for the peanuts that are in this bar. Here we've got some different pieces of peanut, and we can just kind of put these around the package in some of the blank areas. All right, so I've placed those in. I try to distribute them fairly evenly across the packaging, and you'll notice that I rotated each nut so that it looked like the lighting was coming from the top, and you see that nice shadow on the bottom. I think a few of them, though, need a touch more shadow. And this knot right here has some really nice bounce lighting. I'm going to mimic that across the other ones as well. For this type of bar, it's always good to let people know what the main ingredients are. So we're going to do that right down here. Make that the same color as the logo. And we're going to put the weight of the bar as well. And that'll be in a smaller size and a slightly different font. I think we need to move our logo and images up a little bit to give our text down here some more breathing room. And although it should be obvious, it doesn't hurt to in text to let people know that this is some type of health bar. 
And just to give this some more separation, I'm gonna put it inside of a container. And I added some tips onto that container. I think it just helps to mimic some of these sharper edges in our logo. And just as a little finishing touch, I'm gonna add some shadow on the honey that's being cast by the letters. That way we just get some better separation between the logo and this honey stream. So you can really see that our logo is a lot more readable now versus before. I still think this group of text down here blends in a little too much together, so I think I'm going to make this health bar container yellow to match the honey, and for any different type of bar, this container can match the color of that extra ingredient. And I think that wraps it up. Now I'm just going to make two other kinds of bars using this exact same template. So this bar is going to be chocolate. I've got these really nice chocolate swirls, and that's what we're going to use to put in between our letters, just like we did with the honey on this one. I'm gonna rearrange the peanuts just a little bit, that way every package isn't completely the same. Now we can add some binding to our chocolate and that'll help it really pop off the package. And now just some shadows on our logo. And now we'll just add in the shadow that the letters are casting on the chocolate. And that's got it. The last thing we need to do is change the color of this bar to match the chocolate. And we are done. Now we can do this last bar, which is gonna be peanuts and berries. All right, now we're just gonna put these berries into place. And it actually has a fairly okay arrangement. So this should give us a good head start. Now we can place our peanuts. We're gonna be lighting the berries now. Now we'll do the lighting on our letters. And finally, the lighting on our berries from our letters. And of course, the last step to wrap up is to change that health bar color. And there we've got it, guys. That finishes everything up. And here's our final result. I really like the way these turned out. There's a lot of variety between each one, but they still feel connected because of that black packaging, our centered logo, and the consistent layout between all of them. If you like these types of videos, I've got several more that you can watch here. I'm releasing new ones all the time, so if you don't want to miss out on those, make sure you subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you do want to check out the assets I used in this video, they're all linked down in the description below. And if there's a project you really want me to do, make sure to leave me a comment, and I'll be sure to consider that for a future video. Once again, I really appreciate you guys watching this. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.